Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex, but we have Alex on the line. And he wants to talk to us about uh, what's just been revealed about Zokar Sarnaev. Alex? Yes, when I saw this this morning by Kurt Nemo, it's uh, red linked up on Infowars.com. Did he just drop out on us? Okay. Well, looks like we just lost that. It's a, yeah, it's a very important story. This is the article that uh, we covered a little bit earlier, uh, just a little bit. I wanted to hear what Alex had to say about it. But this is the picture that was released. Now, this is a picture that was not supposed to come out. And the sergeant was fired because he put it out. But, it, you know, he released this because he was angry that the Rolling Stones picture looked too glamorous. So what he did was he actually showed the picture of uh, Zokar, and you can see that his throat wasn't cut. And we were told, as Kurt points out in the article, we were told that uh, at various stages that he had been, uh, he'd shot himself in the uh, throat. We had been told that his throat had been cut. We'd been told that he wasn't going to be able to talk to us, uh, not be able to communicate. We were told for the longest time they maintained this story. And now we see no evidence of that. Just another piece of the false flag that we've been fed there. Now, we also have some uh, news that we covered just briefly yesterday about the TSA. The TSA is now going through cars that are parked in valet parking. Uh, this was a uh, local news story out of Albany, and uh, the woman called to complain to the television station. Uh, let's take a look at that for people who um, are watching the broadcast this is what they actually put in the car. Can you guys pull that up on the screen? That's what she showed. Under the TSA regulations. Yeah. Your vehicle has been inspected under the TSA regulations. There you go. Thank you for your patronage. Your vehicle has been inspected under TSA regulations. Now, what she said was she was never told that her car was going to be checked by the TSA. After they went ahead and did this story, they went back and after it became an issue, they did put up a sign. And uh, they said, and she said she was so happy, unfortunately, she said she was so happy that uh, she felt safer when they were doing it. She was just concerned that they hadn't told her beforehand. Interestingly enough, they weren't checking all the cars. They were only checking the cars that were in valet parking. And I think this has something to do with what's going on with CISPA, what's going on with the PRISM program. And that is this whole idea that they think that they can violate the Fourth Amendment if they get the permission of some third party. But we've got Alex back on the line, and I really want to hear what he has to say about Zokar Sarnayev. Alex? Yeah, I just want the listeners to know I've not been intentionally for 30 minutes trying to build this up here on air. Uh, just bizarre. We do these digital tests, and they work fine. As soon as I get on air, all hell breaks loose. But when we come back in the next segment, we're going to tell you why we keep talking about Zohar Zarnev. Uh, and the big news associated with that. Uh, it's up on Infowars.com. It's a story by Kurt Nemo, and it's just buried in the back of the Boston Globe. Uh, it's buried in the back of the uh, papers on the East Coast. And when I see something like this, totally proving everything we've said in quadruplicate, it doesn't make me feel good. It makes me physically ill. It's not like oh, we've caught them now, isn't this great? It is 100% fact that the CIA and Homeland Security were involved at every level of the bombing in Boston on April 15, 2013. And there is no doubt that Infowars.com, my radio show, everything, the listeners, Dan Madonna, you name it, absolutely got in the middle of their official story and blew it wide open. And that's also super creepy. This is not fun. This is not a game. This is not a joke. I wish every day that Oklahoma City would have been a real event. I wish it wouldn't have happened, A. But B, if it's going to happen, a lone wolf is a lot less scary. To discover how the feds ran the attack, to know the names of the feds that were there with McVeigh, to have the police officer witnesses, the HUD witness, Jane Graham, uh, to have all the witnesses on this bombing, uh, to have the witnesses on 7-7, to know it was run by MI6, the London bombings, to know all of this is disgusting, ladies and gentlemen, because we sit here and we see them get away with it. So when we go to break, I'm going to come back, and as calmly as I can, I'm going to come back and host the rest of the hour, and then David's going to come back and give you a lot of important news, and Lord Monckton's going to be joining him on a 
host of issues on the environmental takeover and the rest of it. Um, good old Monk will tend to explain to our audience that global warming isn't man-made, but we kind of know that. But he's really an expert on the global treaty and the global government, so maybe we can get him to, get him to talk a little bit about that. Uh, so that's coming up in the third hour on this Friday uh, edition. But uh, the reason I get so angry is that I'm sitting here watching all this unfold, and it's just making me sicker and sicker. So when we come back, uh, we'll let David take a break, and I will, uh, from the road, uh, host the transmission as planned. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. broadcasting worldwide. It is July 19th, 2013, and we've uh, got uh, Lord Moncton coming up with David Knight hosting in the next hour. And David Knight of M4 Shiley News is riding shotgun. I am joining you via phone from the Texas coast. I've promised for a year to take my son uh, to go fishing for alligator gar on the edge of the Gulf of Mexico, and we caught... Uh, and, of course, throw them back for pure sports fishing. Four big ones uh, hooked them and landed them yesterday. One of them about 90 pounds. I sent that photo out on Twitter. So I'm I'm blinking, and I'm like everybody else, and my children are growing up, so I thought I'd take a few days off. But it's no good. I, I've just been reading Infowars.com and DrudgeReport.com and all the other news sites and just getting sicker and sicker and sicker. Because, like any parent, I look at my innocent children – my two daughters and my son, uh, and I see how innocent and good and, 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 and wholesome they are. And I see just how unbelievably wicked the world is and how it's getting wickeder by the moment. You know, uh, it's almost a curse to have a good memory and to be informed and to know history and to be involved. It's, it's almost a curse because when you're aware of history and you know what's happening, you're not just blissfully ignorant. Uh, you sit back and you watch just the incredible fraud and corruption. You watch your country taken over by foreign offshore banks. You watch the media turned into a total brainwashing system to demonize the family, to try to uh, dumb children down, to try to destroy children's innocence. You see medicalized tyranny uh, with uh, children being given abortions by schools without parental consent, vaccines without consent. Um, California, and of course every state, but they got caught two weeks ago, is still engaging in uh, forced sterilization illegally and not getting in trouble. And that's the point I keep getting back to over and over again, is that a criminal guild globally has almost gotten in control. They're in control of most of the U.S., most of Europe, most of the U.K., and they're, and they're persecuting and running a purge against people in corporate systems and in government and in academia and in religion, who are just normal humans. This is a cultural, spiritual, genetic rewrite being carried out by the eugenicist. And so this morning when I saw the story up on Infowars.com that Kurt Nemo did, it made me physically angry uh, to where I am just beside myself with, with controlled, focused anger right now because it confirms everything we've seen and everything that happened. Ladies and gentlemen, I followed the Boston bombing from the minutes after it happened. And I had a guest on the air, an author, talking about false flags, when it actually happened, when it actually uh, was unfolding. And I said on that April 15th radio show, I mean, it happened while I was on the radio. I said, look for a drill, look for a stand down, look for patsies. They're going to have Arab patsies and right wing patsies. I don't know what plan they're going to go with, but it's probably going to be right wing patsies because I've been seeing the conditioning that there'd be IEDs or improvised explosive device attacks. 
that were imminent on crowds in America, and that's why Homeland Security had to roll out and basically set up martial law nationwide. So I saw the pre-programming. And I said in the days before, get ready, false flag is imminent. Because, I mean, I live this stuff. And then, boom, it happened. And we saw the drill that happened two months before of bombing the marathon. We found out there was a drill that day. We had witnesses there was a drill. It later came out that there was a drill. And then they were going to burn a right winger a few days later, but then dropped all of that, evacuated the courthouse, disappeared whoever the person was they had, and moved on to the... Zarnev brothers, Zohar Zarnev and Tamerlan Zarnev. And then sure enough, I said, let's see. We know there was a drill. We know there was a stand down. We know there were contractors out there that use that as the cover. Most people involved in the government aren't involved. Let's see if Tamerlan or the younger brother are ending up working for a foundation group, sending in people to form al-Qaeda groups against the Russians, which is a stated Pentagon globalist 30-year-plus program. Sure enough, it came out in the British, in the Russian news, confirmed. State Department responded. Uh, the, 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 the Tamerlan had aliases that Homeland Security allowed him to use. He was funded by the Georgetown Society, founded by Zbigniew Brzezinski and others, directly to form radical Wahhabist sects uh, in the area. I'm just giving you background before I give you the new bombshell, ladies and gentlemen. And it just went on and on. Then two FBI agents that were involved in the investigation in Boston fall out of a helicopter. Then the the, the friend of the older Zarnev brother, uh, they go to his house. He says, they're coming to kill me. They strap him down in a chair, shoot him in the top of the head, and they've declared national security on the autopsy, just like they've done with Michael Hastings. I mean, folks, they're doing this in the open now. And it just goes on and on and on. Um, and then Rolling Stone comes out saying the bomber. And everybody says it's glorifying the bomber, which that's only one sub-level. That's a smaller level of it, 25% of it. 75% of the outrage is that they're saying he's the bomber. This, this magazine came out, was printed four or five days after he pled not guilty, and they knew he was going to plead not guilty. We've talked to the lawyers. We've talked to family members. I'm not at liberty to give all this out, but they've been threatened. And they know it's an inside job, and it turns out a bunch of the family is hooked in to the Central Intelligence Agency. So understand, ladies and gentlemen, I've psychoanalyzed why I get so viciously angry when I see stuff like this, because I'm risking my life, okay? This is not a game. This is not a joke. This is literally a death struggle for this country. And that's why I get physically angry. When I saw the leaked, and you watch, they're going to prosecute this guy with the state police. This guy leaked it saying he was angry, and that may be spin, that, that this guy was being you know, shown as some type of icon by the news media. I don't believe that's what it is. That's the news spinning it. Why would, why would the state police photographer say he was angry so he released it? That's not even his statement. I believe they're saying that. They, uh, they, uh, again, this is Infowars.com right now. What am I getting at? The latest big piece of news. It goes on to say Zohar's throat wound, another government lie bites the dust. And it goes on to say and show high-def photos of him with the lasers on him, no cut, no blood on the neck. This is now at the same level, not, not from above, from a news camera. This is at the same level, nothing wrong with his throat. Folks, I was watching a Ustream feed that had a million, 200,000 viewers on it of the live uh, police scanner when he was in that boat. And they opened fire with more than 15 full auto M16s uh, and uh, 308 HK91 type rifles. And every inch had bullet holes as they tried to kill him. Let's go back before I get to this latest news and all the lies. I only covered a fraction. There was no robbery of a 7 Eleven. That's now confirmed. It's clearly come out it was friendly fire of the dead cops, probably just being killed to create some smoke screen. The brothers yelled on the news camera, it's not us, we didn't do it, we didn't do it, as they tried to kill them. Witnesses all said that Tamerlan was alive when they put him on the ground and 
then ran over him. They wanted to get rid of the witnesses. They're killing FBI agents. They're killing their friends that were clearly CIA assets going overseas with them. This is unbelievable. Then we are about to go live on the news that night. It's 645 Central, 745 Eastern. I'm in the news office by the TV studio. We have Ustream up. This is back on the night this happened. The night they capture him a few days after the 15th of April. And I am watching, I am watching Ustream. And they've shot up the uh, boat a few hours before. They're sending in armored vehicles, checking to see that he's dead. And I hear the police, and there's a recording of this. But anybody can go look this up on the Ustream archive. And they're like, oh, no, media got in a building across the, the, the water there. There was some little body of water, and they've got a live feed. Well, we go turn the TV on, or the TV was actually on. We could see, sure enough, about a minute later, it goes on TV, the boat and the flapping tarp, and now the cops couldn't kill him. Now there's a news camera right on it in, in high def. So they tell him, come out. He comes out. I see his throat. He comes out with energy. There's no blood on his throat because it was, it was down and from an angle, but I could clearly see there was no blood. We blew up the video. Minutes later, he's on the ground, barely alive, with them chopping his throat open. And you can go to all the news articles that demonized me, Bloomberg, AP, you name it, and say, look at crazy Alex Jones saying they did a throat surgery. They did. They cut into his throat so that he couldn't talk. There's, there's, there's the photos and videos of that, of them cutting into his throat. They, he, he gets up, crawls out, no blood out of his neck. They cut into his throat. God knows how hard they're torturing him for him to be able to still come to trial and say not guilty. They're probably in there right now electroshocking this guy. I mean, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this guy has got incredible will. The level of torture he's been going through, they tried to send him to Gitmo. They couldn't do that because people are awake and the courts are somewhat awake. And so they've got him in there right now torturing him, hammer and tongs, up one side and down the other. You can be guaranteed. So here's the big, here's the big story. Because National Review, you know, wrote a hit piece saying I'm incoherent. No, I'm not incoherent. Reality is complex. Details are complex. I don't sit here and talk to people like they're two years old. I've just given the listeners a briefing, reminding them on everything that happened in this continuum, everything that happened in this space and time, everything that unfolded, everything that went on, just the basics. It goes on and on and on and on and on. The whole story is a lie on its face. The FBI and Secret Service threatening Dan Badandi, saying, we're going to get you if you don't shut up. This is on the news when they come over. What is the Secret Service doing at press conferences that have nothing to do with the Secret Service? They were sent there to shut Badandi, our reporter, down, who was there to hand out images of the drills and there to hand out, uh, hand out info to the media so they could understand how this really works. This is what InfoWars is doing. This is how far we're going. So... We have Zohar Zarnev. We've got him in, in, in high-def images of your radio listener. Go to Infowars.com. You remember, you were told he was shot in the throat, he climbed out, and then suddenly he was on the edge of dying. They, but there were other cops there who were not part of the inside job, who were not part of the, 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 the corrupt federal teams, and so they were unable to kill him. Then he goes to the hospital. They know they're being watched. Then they announce in the news he said he did it. Now imagine, you, you can't talk. You're chained down in a hospital. Your brother was in the CIA as an asset. That's on record. They've killed your brother. They're killing other people. You're in there, and they put on the news, the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald, that sources say you confessed. Folks, they could disappear Alex Jones. They could disappear anybody. They could disappear... Anybody who's prominent and then just say, from his hospital bed, he admits he did it. Oh, and then put it on the cover of Rolling Stone that you're the bomber. See, this is a complete attack on justice, on due process. And so we now have high-def photos of him with laser beam lights on him, climbing out of the boat by the grace of God. The bullets all missed him, but some that reportedly hit him in the foot and grazed his back. So by the grace of God, they sit there in concerted fire with a line of machine guns, firing, and they said he fired at them with a gun. Oh, another problem. There was no gun. See, lies, 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 lies. He had a gun in there. They, they, they robbed 
the 7-Eleven. They killed cops. None of it's true. It's all been admitted to be a fraud. And now we have a high-def photo leaked by the state police to the Boston newspapers showing him not a bullet wound, not a cut, not a drop of blood on his neck in blaring light. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, now are we going to get a gold star for being vindicated in the first to say they chopped into his neck? No, we're not. Well, I might get a hit team sent down here to kill me. That's the prize I'll probably get because you need to understand, folks, they have to take down the press and take down the courts and take down due process before they take the country completely down. This is a globalist takeover of America. So I'm telling listeners right now, again, Alex Jones here joining you via phone, David Knight riding shotgun from the InfoWars Center. Zohar Zarnev's throat wound, another government lie bites the dust, and he goes over that particular lie. And I think we need to add to this all the articles we wrote with previous lies. Perhaps on the nightly news tonight, we need to go over all the lies that I just mentioned. And there's even more. Didn't rob the 7-Eleven. Didn't shoot the cops. Yeldon said they were innocent. Ran over the brother. Uh, brother was working for the CIA on record. Had aliases that he was allowed to travel back and forth in the U.S. with. The friend gets executed. They said he attacked the police. They admit he didn't. They declare national security uh, on the autopsy uh, this week, Monday. Won't release it. On and on and on. Didn't have guns in the boat. Didn't shoot at cops. No, he's hiding in there. They figure out he's in there. They send up an armored vehicle, look and see he's in there, and they open fire to kill the witness. Kill the witness. Kill the witness. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Just like Lee Harvey Oswald. They had to have Jack Ruby go up and shoot him. And as he's walked out to be shot, he goes, I'm a patsy. I'm a patsy. Help me. You're not going to get help. Jack Ruby, Dallas. Right in the stomach, right in front of everybody, ladies and gentlemen. They tried to jack Ruby him, and it didn't work. So they had to cut his throat open. And there's the video, and there's the photos of those cops ramming knives into his throat with scalpels. God knows the hell he's going through. This young man did nothing. He believed he was fighting for America as a CIA asset. They were playboys with girls and wearing fancy clothes and partying. They were set up just like the people on 7-7. These guys were anti-Muslim extremists and probably weren't even Muslims from the friends that knew them. They were party animals who thought that they had been recruited by these CIA ads you see on TV. You see all these CIA ads everywhere about join the CIA and they come to the high schools now and say join it. Let me tell the young people something. If you ever get hired as an asset of the CIA or any other federal or agency or group or contractor and they want you to carry a simulated bomb into an airport, don't do it. If they want you to be part of a drill that we know they were having, don't do it. Because let me tell you something, they're going to blow stuff up and blame it on you. And if you happen to run an escape, they're going to kill you and kill your family and put you on the news as a terrorist. Because this isn't the U.S. government. This is the new world order that's taken this country and this world over. And now they're going to wreck everything. Now they're going to destroy everything. And, in, and, and, and watch this. There won't be any media coverage of the fact that his throat's not hurt. It's only, oh, why did the state police leak these photos? They must be mad about something. So they're in front of everybody. There's no gun. There's no throat wound. No nothing. It's all lies. We'll be right back with David Knight. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. 
And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight in the studio. We've got Alex Jones on the phone. And if you just heard that last segment, that was a massive expose of this false flag Boston bombing from the very beginning. And I tell you, it was really amazing to be here and to see all this unfold. I mean, it, to see CNN responding to our reports, basically, in real time. You know, we were pointing things out that didn't really fit. And uh, then they would trump out some uh, former FBI agent and go through a dog and pony show to cover up for the government's obvious and glaring inconsistencies and lies in their stories. And Alex has been talking about the latest one that just broke today, these pictures of Zokar Zarnayev. Alex, you want to continue? That's right, Zokar Zarnayev. And, and again, the reason I start hyperventilating is this is like being buried alive, ladies and gentlemen. When you know how real this is, when you know that we're actually contending with these devils, at an international level, and they're responding and demonizing us and saying we should be, you know, gone after by the government. This isn't a game. This isn't my opinion, folks. The, the globalist criminal element staged the Boston bombing. We caught them with mm -hmm. their pants down around their ankles, their hand in the cookie jar. The whole thing is a verified lie. And here's the big trillion-pound enchilada. 
no mainstream media will dare look at any of it. And in the past, folks, they would have brought this up just 10 years ago. As, as controlled as it was, the FBI in that press conference pointed at the media, and they said, no one go talk to that man. No one go look at the photographs he's got. Our reporter had the news articles about the drill, the Boston Globe, that no one wanted to look at. He had the photos of the drill, the bomb-sniffing dogs, and all the black backpacks. And I'm not even saying those guys in the drill were involved. They were all standing around, looking around when the bomb went off, like, what in the world just happened? That's how they do it. And then they tell them, don't talk about the drill. It'll confuse the public. Folks, they're pathological. The globalists run the same play and why not? It works. I mean, if a Hail Mary worked every time, if I was a football coach and I had a quarterback and a wide receiver that never missed and never dropped the ball, what would I run? Hail Marys all day long. And, folks, they run these Hail Marys. My life is like living around other people, like in those movies where the other people don't move, and then you can just move and walk around everybody, and they won't listen to you, and you can't even communicate with them. I mean, this is 100%, folks. They told you, oh, oh, he's bleeding out of the neck. He, he can't talk. They got him and went and cut his freaking throat out on TV. And I said, I said, folks, pull up the articles. I want to put this on the nightly news tonight, not to toot my horn, but to show folks that we're right. You can go back and find uh, you know, articles everywhere from Salon to AP to Reuters going, Alex Jones says he didn't have a throat wound and wasn't shot. Alex Jones says they cut, his, cut, cut into his larynx. Well, I mean, let me see. You get out, and you're not bleeding out of your neck. I saw the video. Now we have high-def photos. And then you walk over, and five minutes later, there's medics with scalpels into your throat. I mean, I worked for the large animal vet, folks. I've done cesarean sections. I've helped cut through things with scalpels. I, I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a firearms person, too. I mean, that's, that's part of the torture of this, is being informed. They grabbed this poor young man who believed he was an American patriot. These guys believed they were infiltrating Muslim groups for America, and this is what they did to them. I, I had the ant coming on. David, you talked to her. We have a recording oh, yeah. part of it. She's ready to come on. They called up and threatened her. She said, my children, and started b broke down. They threatened her minutes after she agreed to come on. Mm -hmm. They're listening to the phone lines, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a game, is what I'm trying to say. I, I feel like uh, the guy in Terminator, the first Terminator, when he's in the police station, and he's telling them what's happening, and they're not listening, and they go, this guy's crazy. He's got a great story. But you know what? As soon as the Terminator comes to the front door, then they know how real it is. And it's the same thing with the New World Order, folks. This is not a game. I'm begging everybody, listen to me. They took that young man and tried to kill him, and when they couldn't, they cut his throat out. And when they brought him into jail, he had injuries all over him that were not there in these high-def photos. They have been torturing him. They probably cut his fingers off. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review. And more coming in the month of June to the Info War. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we have Alex on the line here, and he's talking about this news that just broke today about uh, Zokar Zarnev and the pictures showing him as he's being taken out of the boat without his throat cut. And Alex has been laying that out and talking about how this has been a pattern of an evolving lie ever since the story first broke. And even before that, he was on the phone with, uh, he was doing an interview that day with Richard Belzer, and they were talking about the conspiracies behind the JFK assassination as this thing happened. And um, so uh, Alex took it all the way back to that point, said the thing to look out for is a drill going on at the same time, and of course that was there, and it was just one thing after the other. Alex? And again, I'm not acting when I start hyperventilating and stuff, but I am acting. I'm letting myself get upset like I really am as almost therapy because I can't handle not being honest with people. And I think the reason I'm effective is I reach back into human instinct to get people upset like they should be. Folks, this is definitely a giant uh, racketeering operation.
administration colluding to lie about every stage of this deal. And they're killing people to cover it up, and they're declaring national security. But it shows how leakers can bring them down that the state police photographer leaked this. They're trying to spin why he did it showing that Zarnev was set up, and they're keeping us from talking to SWAT team members that we have contact with that are friends with our reporters uh, from the Marines. Uh, they're, they're trying to block us at every level, so, so that's on top of it. So I need Kurt Nemo, who's done a great job covering this today, to add the other smoking guns to the bottom of his article, and then I want to put this in the August issue. Uh, of the magazine that is about to come out, because we're going to press next week. I want to have a big article and, 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 and add into Kurt's article uh, uh, today the fact that they didn't rob the 7-Eleven. Uh, they were connected to the CIA. Kurt first broke that uh, in the U.S. Uh, that you know, Just basically, let's not even overdo it. Let's just go over you know the smoking gun lies of this thing and how it's a lie from start to finish. He didn't have a gun. Uh, inside the uh, uh, boat. I mean, they tried to kill him. They killed the other brother. They're killing the other witnesses. Because, ladies and gentlemen, they're not invincible. This can bring them down. They ran fast and furious. They killed thousands of people, uh, hundreds on this side of the border, to try to blame the Second Amendment. Of course they did this. And it's not fun to have to confront these killers. I'm doing this because we don't have any future if we don't. Where is the media? We need our listeners. We're going to tweet this. Real Alex Jones, right? Right now, I'm going to tweet the story right now. We need everybody to go to InfoWars.com and get this and retweet it and post it on Facebook and send it to local talk show host and say, wait, he climbed out of the thing and his throat wasn't hurt. And then they told us he was shot in the throat so he couldn't talk to the media so they could put out a fake confession. And he's now pled not guilty. And, 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 and who knows if the guy in court's even him. There's some evidence it may not be. Our country is under criminal takeover. And, folks, they wouldn't be going this balls out all the way if they weren't planning to completely bring this country down. This is not a game. And hiding and cowering to this is going to destroy us, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm calling on real media, alternative, mainstream, whatever it is. This case has completely collapsed, and this is the type of thing that can capture the public's attention, that this guy's throat was unhurt. And then you show the photos and video stills of his throat cut open with them fishing into it with scalpels. Minutes later, God knows they may have killed him and then brought in a double. We don't even know now. That is how insanely evil this government is. And we need more people in the police, in the military, to leak like they've done now. And this is what got Hastings killed. Michael Hastings said it's time to expose this. The government's evil. It's taken over. It's illegitimate. It's destroying America. This is a call to political arms. And they killed him. I'm going to hand things over to you, David Knight. Uh, great job. Please support InfoWars.com. Please spread the word about the broadcast. Please get the YouTube version of State of Mind that's on InfoWars and get it out to everybody and get this article out to everyone. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.